the Digital Asset Investor. And today I wanted to take a step back as I do sometimes and look at a bit the bigger picture than just Ripple and XRP and cryptocurrencies. Um, and I wanted to take you a stroll through uh, a few inventions that hit the world. And what's interesting about all of this is that in every case, it was something that nobody could have even imagined. And then there were many people that criticized the never, it'll never work. And just like you see with cryptocurrencies every day. Um, and it's, I think it's important to go back and look at the things that you can't even imagine not having. And now we have them and we take them all for granted because cryptocurrency and, uh, you know, that it's, it's no different. And if you look at it in, in these kind of terms, I think it really hits home with a lot of the things you hear and the things that are being said by people who are ignorant, who haven't even studied Ripple or XRP. I wanted to first, I found this, uh, this site here where it, it, it shows 30 inventions that changed the world. And I'm going to flip through them real quick. The sailboat, can you imagine not, uh, sailboats not even haven't been invented, but it changed everything in tra trade and transport in Mesopotamia, 6,000 BC. Um, the wheel, the invention of the wheel, imagine not having a wheel, <laughs> 4,000 to 3,500 BC. But this, imagine how this changed, just that simple thing that came about. The invention of the nail in ancient Egypt. There was a time when there were no nails, and just imagine how that changed how they could build things. The invention of soap. Imagine a time when people didn't, couldn't bathe, couldn't take baths. Imagine what the, what the health of people was like. That's why that's one of the many reasons we've been able to uh, extend our lives. This was the abacus, which was before the the uh, invention of the calculator in Mesopotamia. So they would actually actually figured out a way to count and do calculations. And then you had the compass. People don't realize it, but China invented the compass. And before that, imagine how dangerous it would have been to leave, to go out into the ocean to explore. It probably changed the world of exploring. China invented paper as well, so that you could also all of a sudden have record keeping. And we know much more about the world because of that simple invention. And then um, gunpowder. I don't think I have to say too much about gunpowder and how that changed the world. The mechanical clock was invented in China. And uh, that's an obvious as well. And then you had the printing press in the Roman Empire. The printing press was created. The thermometer. <laughs> So we can tell how hot or cold it is outside. The modern steam engine. The refrigerator. Any of you whose power has gone out like mine has before realizes what this, the second you don't have a refrigerator, you realize it real quick. The computer in England in the early 19th century. The electric telegraph in England. That's where the Morse code was created. That's the that's the uh, first uh, that box took a photograph, and then modern a anesthesia. I know this all too well since I had surgery last Friday. Uh, imagine a time when you it, you couldn't hardly even have a surgery because it, imagine what it felt like for these people. They had to bite down on a on a towel and and take whiskey instead of having anesthesia. The modern oil refining in Scotland. So just just imagine what would the Saudis be doing right now if this had not been invented. The internal combustion engine. The telephone. The light bulb. And then the car in Germany in 1886. The radio in Italy, 1895. And then, of course, the airplane, the Wright brothers. The modern air conditioning system. Imagine not having an air. I live in the southeast United States. Imagine not having an air conditioning system. <laughs> For those of you that live where I do, in the summertime, it's impossible to deal with. 
penicillin, the transistor, the contraceptive pill. There's the cell phone. <laughs> That's the one that uh, I'm a big Dallas, the TV show fan. That's the one that J.R. Ewing used to use in his in his uh, Mercedes. Um, and then, of course, the World Wide Web, which was invented in Switzerland in 1989. Now, imagine how far we've come from 1989 with that. I, want, I wanted to go through this exercise and show you, just to bring all these to mind, to kind of bring the point that, yeah, those at the time, they were all like the new, new thing. Well, cryptocurrency and Ripple and, and Bitcoin and all these, it's no different. They're in the early stage, and so we're going through a stage right now of the early adoption, <clears throat> early, early adoption, and so we're going through some things um, that that can be frustrating and can make you question your investment and things like that, and so first I wanted to put to bed the idea, I think that it's pretty clear that cryptocurrencies and blockchain is a revolutionary thing. This was an article where Tim Draper said it's the next, it, it's bigger than the industrial revolution. And then there, there's all sorts of articles. Here's one in, on, in Fortune where here's why blockchains will change the world. And it's a whole article. Blockchain is going to change the world. And so go ahead in your mind and put it in the class of all those inventions that I just showed you because it might be bigger than them all. I believe it is. And if you watch my channel, you already know that I believe Ripple XRP is bigger than any of them. And so um, you can watch several of my videos that get more specific about that. But the main reason being, eminently, Ripple is the only digital asset that, is, that has a use case that is going in motion any day now. None of them can say that. No other digital asset, period. So for those of you that are new to this, you need to watch my videos. Go watch. There's other guys on Alex Cobb, Jungle Inc., uh, Crypto Nomad, a lot of them that I like. Go read Hoder's blog and then get on Twitter. There are several people that you can learn about Ripple. But what I wanted to do today is I want to go over a uh, kind of where we're at and what's going on in the climate and compare it to those inventions that I just went through in terms of what people say, what, what your thought pattern might be. Here's where I think we are. I believe that we're, we're right at the precipice. I believe that the sheep, when I say sheep, and I don't mean to put down the people who haven't bought in to cryptocurrencies and blockchain yet. That's not my point in saying this. It is a perfectly nat natural reaction when you have a new thing to have all kinds of naysayers and all kinds of people saying this is not going to happen and here's why and but for those of us that have really read and studied ripple and xrp and and blockchain in general we we can sift through all of that and this is my attempt to make you understand why you should and 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 uh explain that so I do think the sheep are still being held back, but I want to take you through what, and, and if you get like, for instance, if you watch CNBC, one of the things you'll see on CNBC many times, oh, oh, well, you know, are these digital assets, are they ever going to be used and this and this, and these people in history have always, they have always been the same type of people saying the same types of things about new innovation. And what happens is once the innovation is finally accepted, those same people are the cheerleaders, but nobody ever goes to them and says, well, wait a minute, what about what you were saying then? No, they're never questioned. They're just then considered the experts. And I want to, I want to illustrate this for you. Here are a few things that were said about different inventions in history. This first one is everything that can be invented has been invented. And that's more of like an overall, this was a guy at the U.S., Office of Patents. That has to be one of the dumber, more ignorant things ever said in the history of inventions. How about this one? Heavier than air flying machines are impossible. This was all said by this guy in the Royal Society. How about this one? 
I think there was a world market for maybe five computers. That's the chairman of IBM in 1943. Computers in the future may have only 1,000 vacuum tubes and perhaps only weigh one and a half tons. That's Popular Mechanics Magazine, 1949. I have traveled the length and breadth of this country and talked with the best people, and I can assure you that data processing is a fad and that won't last that won't last out the year. The editor in charge of business books for Prentice Hall, 1957. But what is it good for? An engineer at the Advanced Computing Systems Division of IBM commentating on the microchip in 1968. Wonder where that guy is now. Get your feet off my desk, get out of here, you stink, and we're not going to buy your product. Joe Keenan, president of Atari in 1976, responding to Steve Jobs, offered to sell him rights to the new personal computer he and Steve Wozniak developed. Wow. There is no reason for any individual to have a computer in their home. Ken Olson, president of Digital Equipment Corporation at the convention of the World Future Society in Boston in 1977. That's something else, isn't it? No one will need more than 637 kilobytes of memory for a personal computer. 640K ought to be enough for anybody. Bill Gates, founder of Microsoft in 1981. Bill Gates is the same guy who thinks that Bitcoin is not going to be come to anything. Him, he, he's uh, Warren Buffett's buddy. So Bill Gates, although he's a very smart guy, does not know everything. And in this case, he's wrong about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. 2007, there's no chance that the iPhone is going to get any significant market share. Steve Ballmer, Microsoft CEO. 2005, there's just not that many videos I want to watch. Steve Chen, CTO and co-founder of YouTube, expressing concerns about his company's long-term viability. That's an amazing one for a lot of us that are YouTubers. 1981, cellular phones will absolutely not replace local wire systems. Marty Cooper, inventor. 1946, television won't be able to hold on to any market it captures after the first six months. People will soon get tired of staring at a plywood box every night. That guy was from 20th Century Fox. 1921, the wireless music box has no imaginable commercial value. Who would pay for a message sent to no one in particular? <laughs> 1903, the horse is here to stay, but the automobile is only a novelty, a fad. President of Michigan Savings Bank advising Henry Ford's lawyer, Horace Rackham, not to invest in the Ford Motor Company. Banks will never use XRP. I hear this every day, and I know that you do too if you're an XRP Ripple fan. Banks will never use XRP. This one right here is, is in the very short, well, I'll, let's quote the CEO of Ripple. Very, very shortly, this quote will be proven wrong, and we'll get to add it to history. What I want to tell you today is that this time it is different. All of the inventions, all of the revolutions, the industrial revolution, everything that I've been talking about so far today this time it's different, and this is something that, that people do not really stop and think about. This is what I noticed from the second I saw Bitcoin, which was what I first saw. The second I saw it, I knew that this was a huge opportunity if it was a new invention, a new um, revolution that was going to come, that it was different. And here's why it was different. What do all of those inventions have in common? All of the revolutions, whether it was the internet or the invention of the airplane, what do all of those things have in common? And it's really two things. And I, when I say it, they, they have in common, I'm talking about in terms of making money on those inventions and making money on those revolutions. All of those until today, all of those had two things. The people who stood to make big money on those were the inventors of those and the wealthy early investors of those. That's how it has been for the entire history of the world. The people that make the money were the people that created the new invention or the wealthy early investors. And this time, 
that was turned on its head with cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, all of these cryptocurrencies, that was turned upside down, which is why this can will change lives, many, many lives, and not the normal lives that are changed, but the people that were just average people who were smart enough to see it before anybody else did. Digital assets are the first time in history the average smart investor had the opportunity from the very beginning. This was the first time, maybe the last time. The world is about to change. Hold on to your XRP. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor, but I do know what I'm talking about. I was a financial advisor. I've been studying Ripple XRP and I've been invested since 2014. And I know what I'm talking about. I've studied the people that run Ripple. I've studied the company. I've studied their products. I know exactly what they're doing and what they're going to do. So do yourself a favor and go to ripple.com and check it out. Now listen to me and listen closely. If you're going to buy digital currencies, you need to buy a Ledger Nano S. Uh, you can buy it. Look in my description under the video. And you can go to let you, there's a link that'll take you there and you can buy one directly from the company. Never don't go and buy one on Amazon.com. Buy one directly from the company because there have been situations where hackers have sold them on Amazon and eBay and some of these places. And they I don't know what they did, but reconfigured them somehow. And so um, go and get one and store your digital currencies on there. It's the only way to store them offline. That's the safest way there is. Again, I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and get other people to subscribe. And um, I thank you for listening. And I'll be back.